Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Clover Creek version 1.0 4x map. File size for this map is 1GB. It's quite big but it is a 4x map. What you're going to have to do after you download it is unzip the rare file that it comes in. There's going to be four zip files inside. Just take them on out and put them in your mods folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a few things regarding this map. We'll go over and take a look at the field sizes and prices take a look at the different cell points as well as your starting fleet then we will end with a tour of the map so let's get started okay so when you start up your map this will be your starting position right here once again this is the Clover Creek version 1.04 X map the file size for this is one gigabyte when you download this it's going to be a rare file you're going to have to open that up and take out the four zip folders inside one is the map and three is for storage for your grains your root crops and your straw there's 51 fields on this map, four in which you own. Now this is a Farming Simulator 17 map converted over to Farming Simulator 19. There is no multi-fruits on this map and there is 14 different sell points that you can sell your products at. So just a couple of notes he has here. On the map there are points of sale for loose fertilizer, lime seed, manure, slurry, animal transportation missions, traffic and pedestrians, Land transformation also works on this map. Dairy for milk collection, two sawmills. Forested areas, large and medium sized fields, ideal for large machinery. All fields on this map can be bought and sold. All buildings can be sold for a profit. So there are just some added notes that he has there. Let's now jump over and take a look at the map. All kinds of different sheep fields there guys. Tons of them, all the way up to 51. It's not much of a field there, it's more of a forested section. You can see here in the blue, this is all forest throughout here. There's a forestry section up in the corner here. These are meadows all the way around here and up top as well. Now when you start off, you're down here, there's the three fields you own. Field 37, 49, and 50. You own field 6 up here as well. So yeah, they're the four fields that you own. Not much quite out of the way, but it is yours. Now, as far as the smallest and biggest size fields on the map, your biggest field is going to be field 13 right here. Let's go over to that. Right there, it's going to cost you $4,520,948 for that piece of land. The smallest field is 36 right here, and that will cost you $207,401. Now, we'll go over and we'll take a look at the different cell points. you got 14 of these, starting with the diner here. If I scroll all the way down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different cell points. Now we'll jump over and take a look at your starting fleet. Over at the garage, do you have the Fiat 1300 DT? You have a Case Maxim CVX 145, you have a pickup truck and a small plow, as well as two seeders. You have a sprayer, the dry fertilizer spreader. You have a mower attachment for your tractors, you have a loading wagon, a tanker for water, we get a front loading attachment with a fork, we have a weight, and we have some buildings. You already have a cow pasture, a horse paddock, and a uh, chicken coop to start off, as well as a large grain silo, and all these other buildings here as well. So you got quite a bit to start off. Look at that farmhouse. That's too funny. But uh, you do get a little bit of a start there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the immediate farm here. You can see I'm down in the bottom right hand corner by our three fields. This is your yard, there's the farmhouse, there's the pickup truck. We've got most of our animals all in around here. And our water tank. Pigs and cows. Some more of our equipment over there. Some manure pickup and slurry pickup. There's that little trailer down there. <laughs> okay, we, there's our grain drop off right down below. Have some more equipment parked in over here. And that's it for the immediate farm. So let's push on to the north here. Let me hit my speed mod here so we can go a little quicker. Grain storage, sales, commercials, fertilizer storage, that's cool. Seed, all that good stuff. It's all in English too, that's nice to see. Most of it. Cowboy country. Looks 
looks like a bit of a sawmill. Look at all the people walking around down there. Cool. Place to sell some wood chips over there. There's one of your trucks. I do. Is that? Who's that too? Yeah, it's just there for looks. Huh. Okay, let's continue on. We'll go to the uh, center of the map here. We can take a couple. We can take a look at these fields as we're passing on by. You can see I have my speed cranked to five, and it's still taking me that long to cross over the map. So it's a very big map. Okay, we got some hay and straw and forage up here. Everything's nice and nice, big red buildings. Unanimated cows. Johnson Family Theory. That's kind of cool. Look at all the look at all the. <laughs> See, yeah, you'll notice that you got a couple of repeat places, such as if you have two sawmills, two spinneries. A couple of them are doubled up. Get a potato chip factory here. Look how they have built, have some equipment there that are built into the map. New vehicle storage over here. I wonder if you can get turn these lights on and off. Doesn't look it. Can you close these doors? No. It'd be pretty dark in here in the nighttime. Okay, so I'm gonna push on to the. Uh, top left hand corner and we'll pick it up from there okay we're up in the top here looks like we have some sugar beets down below yep there's your sugar beet factory some bales in there like the french fry factory or the potato chip factory I should say it looks like a oh, it looks like trail mix or something is nuts fertilizer station it's kind of hard to tell because everything's kind of overlapped there but looks like we get a drop off down here building here. We'll drop off down below. Looks like field one and two were kind of combined up in the very corner there. Yeah, one and two were all one field. That's kind of neat. Goes around this little part in the middle. <clears throat> Some root crop storage. Not sure what that's supposed to be. It almost looks like hops. Fertilizer. These fields are huge. Yeah, I'm on times three speed and look at my I'm just crawling across the top there. We're coming up on the shop. Got a river that cuts in through the land. There's a fairly one of the smaller fields, field three. Coming up on the shop here. All kinds of equipment already there. Too bad you can't access any of it. What about this guy? No. You can almost tell by looking at them. They get a weird paint job to them. But it looks cool nonetheless. Okay, let's just keep pushing on here. Get some residential down below. Got like a strip mall and a pizza place. Potato chips are coming up. Very cool. Is that the potato chip place? Looks like you can sell potatoes there. Middle source potato chips, yep. All those spuds. Oh, well, place to sell potatoes, very nice. Let's go take a look at this place. Got some greenhouses down here. Here you can sell wood chips. 
Here you can buy lime, manure, liquid manure, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, very nice. <coughs> Here you can sell wood. Very cool little spot. Okay, pushing on. Another place you can use as a farm, store some equipment, get some refills. I'm just saying we're gonna try to Huh. cows over here. I like how that's kind of in the middle there. Look at the size of this field. And that's just one of the smaller ones. 13 would be quite the field to take on. Here's the BGA. Biogas. Two big in-ground bunkers there. You can make silage. Can you access these buildings, I wonder? No. Keep pushing on here. Nice detail. Okay, heading down the west coast. Got one of the animal dealerships right here, down below. People walking everywhere around this map. Very nice. Got some cows in there. Yeah, this is the other animal dealership right here. Vehicle storage. Very cool. Delivery pigs. Head on over to the grain company. Very hilly map. Place to sell grain down below. I like these little cell points. They're kind of cool. Drive inside there, drop it off. I didn't happen to see any trains. I don't think there's any trains on this map. Oh, there's another animal dealership. There's three of them. Well, emphasis on animals on this map. Cool. It's a big old trigger there. Yeah, that thing's huge. Okay. Ranch sale of horses. Huge map. I mean, look at this place over here. It doesn't even really show up on the map. Well, it's just unmarked, but you got some residential in here. Some more cow places. Some more places to par park some of your equipment. Got a couple more silage bunkers over here. You can purchase all this stuff here. Huh. I thought that was just a silage bunker. Oh, look. Okay, there's a trigger. Huh, that's different. Just coming across the south of the map now. Got a big old tower. Spinning room. We buy cotton and wool. Very nice. Yeah, I like how that's in English, too. Yeah, you can't seem to activate any of these doors. Okay, let's keep coming across the south. Got another farm down here. There's all kinds of farms on this map. Another place to make some silage. Some cows down below. Tons of farming on this map. Okay, we're coming up to the last little bit here. Sell some wood chips down here as well. This is where we start it. Like there's all kinds of little sections in around that you can cut down trees. Let's bring it in for a landing. Okay. So there you have it folks. That was the Clover Creek version 1.04x map. File size for that is one gigabyte. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's review. 
If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on that right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.